First, you'll have to find your tour bus. Here's the part of the Chinese tour where they try to get you to pay a bunch of money for tickets that you don't really want. Tell them, Wu Yong, Xie Xie. There goes our bus without us. Bye bye. Avoid the overpriced boat ride and explore the seaside on your own. If you're hungry, you can snack on some kao you yu. You could also shop for some bei ke. Look at the line and be happy you aren't in it. Instead, pay two RMB to see a cheesy man-made dragon waterfall. One of the best things you can do to survive a Chinese tour is drink. Skip the terrible Chinese beer and buy some Lan Dai Pijiu. You'll need it for the next stop, a snake museum. At this point, you might as well just laugh at how ridiculous this all is. The fact that this place even exists is pretty funny after all. Check out some of the preserved dead snakes in tubes, and you'll even spot a few live ones. Apparently, this white snake is holy. Laugh even harder at the suckers that throw money in here. Some guy will want you to pay him to take a picture with his snake. Just pretend like you don't understand Chinese and take a picture anyway. Before heading out, you can peruse the snake-themed jewelry. Of course, you can't get out of the museum without going through a maze-like gift shop. No Chinese tour would be complete without a forced shopping trip. Since you're obviously not going to spend a thousand dollars on some stupid pearl statue, just get your camera out and document the whole thing. When the lady tells you that you can't take pictures, feign ignorance and say, Wo ting bu dong. Look around at this massive market where no one is buying anything and at least a hundred people work, and try to figure out how on earth this place manages to stay open. The other people in our group are looking at a lady boy show now. I've already seen that in Thailand, so we're actually going to enjoy the view of the sea. If you're like me, you'll need this moment of peace and quiet to prevent you from blowing up the tour bus. Before getting back on, another beer helps. Waiting on the tour bus now again. Sometimes beer isn't enough. That's why we came prepared. I mean, strong stuff. The Chinese tour group demands it. Another tip for surviving a Chinese tour. We're going to with some movies. Thank you, Stephen Colbert. Count your lucky stars as the tour winds down with a stop at a tiger park. Get your cameras ready to get some pics of the big kitties. There's obviously no PETA in China as you see a guy toss a chicken from the jeep for the tiger to munch on. Before leaving, everyone wants to take a picture of the supposed cola bear. They say the bears like to drink coke, but I don't buy it. Again, laugh at the ridiculousness of this whole thing. Supposed 4D dinosaur movie. This is about as 4D as we're gonna get right here. You're not bummed about missing out on the 4D dinosaurs? No, I'm good. Imagine what the 4th D is though. It could be anything. Go for a walk and be happy that you're finally off the bus. We tried, uh, we tried beer, we tried whiskey. We went to a pearl shop. But eventually the only way to overcome the Chinese tour group is to just get off it's the bus and give up. just get off the bus. Which it's we did. It's not worth it. Just get off the bus, give up. Hey, at least you can drink in public in China. Let's go fly a kite. Reflect on the day and promise yourself to never, under any circumstances, get on a Chinese tour bus again. Well, in the saga of the shitty Chinese tour group, I'd say in the end we came away winners. As, uh, as you can see, I got half of our money back. It was a long, hard fight, but what are we going to use it for? I don't know. Something other than a uh, snake cool. museum, that's for sure. Wai Guo Ren Yingla, 